Let's take a look at three scenarios for editing a Postman flow. In the first scenario, if I'm the original author of this flow, I should be able to edit and make changes and run to my heart's content. In the second scenario, let's look at editing a flow from a public workspace. Let's search for a workspace called Utility Flows. and browse the different flows in this public workspace. Okay, this one looks pretty good, but I can't run it and I can't edit anything here. And this is because it's a public workspace that I don't own, it's somebody else's. So I'm gonna have to fork it to my own workspace in order to edit and run this flow. Okay, you can see we're back in my own workspace and here is recipe bot flow forked. And now I can run it and I can make changes to my liking. There's a couple blocks here that say send request. So if I wanted to update the endpoint, I can only select from collections that are in this workspace. This means that I'll need to go back and get the underlying collection that contains the requests. I can either hit the back button or I can hover over the fork label and click back to that public workspace. So under collections, we're fortunate. There's a collection called recipe bot with three endpoints. I think this is the one that we want. So let's fork this to our workspace too. And we'll leave this checked so we can watch the original collection and be notified about any updates to that main collection. Now we're back in our team workspace and you can see we have the collection. And when we click back to the flow, and look for that API call block, we can select from the requests in that collection. So in this case, we had one flow that corresponded to one collection that contained all of our endpoints. But in some cases, you might be working with several APIs with requests spread out across several collections, and you might have to fork multiple collections so that your flow has access to the requests that you need. So that's the second way. And then the third way is now that I'm working in this team workspace, if you go to workspace settings, I want Carson to be able to collaborate and edit my flows. So Carson will need at least an editor role so that they can edit, create and edit workspace resources, including flows. So in this case, she has an admin role, which is higher than editor, so she'll be able to edit my flow and contribute to the flow. So that's three ways to edit Postman flows.